Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we are going to talk about Maxwell's electromagnetic wave theory. As we have discussed in the previous post or previous video, we said the Huygens wave theory is having some problems. Huygens theory failed in certain areas. You know, though it is successful in explaining reflection and refraction are happening simultaneously, velocity of the light is more in rarer medium than the denser medium. It has failed to explain how the wave propagation is happening without the necessity of the medium because as per the Huygens theory, it is a mechanical wave. It has also failed to explain how that it is unable to explain polarization. To solve that problems, Maxwell has proposed a theory called electro electromagnetic theory, electromagnetic wave theory. As per this X, Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, light is not going to travel like a mechanical wave, rather light is traveling like a non-mechanical wave. When you say non-mechanical or electromagnetic wave, it travels in such a way that it does not need any medium at all. When you say there is no need of medium, you obviously not in need of explaining the presence of the either medium. So, the problem of the Huygens theory is uh, solved. According to this, light ray travels like an electromagnetic wave such that uh, electric field is in one direction, magnetic field is in perpendicular direction and the direction of wave motion is perpendicular to each of them. So, if I say this is the direction of electric field, this is the direction of the magnetic field shown with a B and that is the direction of the wave motion it is in perpendicular plane. According to Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, we can find out the velocity of the light in vacuum as 1 by root of mu naught and epsilon naught, where mu naught is called as permeability of the vacuum, permeability of vacuum, which is a measure of how good the vacuum or a medium is in passing the magnetic field through it and epsilon naught is called permittivity of the medium. Similarly, it is a measure of nature of the medium that how good or bad the medium is in passing the electric field through it. By substituting that constant values, it is found that velocity is of the light in vacuum is 3 into 10 power meter 8 meter per second which is constant and it is agreeing with the results. And this theory electromagnetic wave theory is also able to explain polarization. How it is able to explain polarization we will discuss it in the chapter called something like wave optics in the further lessons it is able to explain polarization. So, all looks like set that it is able to explain how the things can go without any necessity of medium, it is able to explain a polarization. Then the problem came that what is the problem that it has experienced is people have started identifying modern concepts, modern properties of light. There are modern properties of light like photoelectric effect. Compton effect. Photoelectric effect means the phenomena of the emission of the electrons or current from a metal surface when a light of suitable frequency incidents on it. Similarly, Compton effect is modification of the wavelength of the light when it strikes a metal surface. Compton effect, Raman effect, Stark effect, Gman effect. So, all these modern effects people try to explain basing on the Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, but it has failed to explain all these uh, concepts, failed to explain all these properties. So, though we have multiple uh, concepts of light, theories of light like Newton's corpuscular theory. It has problems like it is unable to explain reflection and uh, refraction and why velocity of the light is more in rarer and denser medium. As we have explained Huygens wave theory, it has problems like 
it is unable to explain how the light is traveling without the presence of either medium and it is also failed to explain polarization. Now we have Maxwell's electromagnetic theory though it is able to explain the properties like polarization and the lack of medium is ok because it is going to travel in vacuum it has failed to explain modern day properties. So, we were forced to go into a new theory go into a new theory that is proposed by the scientist Planck that theory is called something like Planck's quantum theory we will explain that theory in our next video lesson thank you for uh, signing in and uh, continue further we will be uploading the further videos in the post right thank you